Okay, so if you're in the research as of if you can flash your ExpressLS firmware or set up a binding phrase with just your cell phone, the answer is yes, you can. And in this video, I'm basically just going to give you a quick walkthrough as of how to do that. Let's just get going. Okay, so before we begin, there is something I want you to go prepare, which is called the SpeedyB app. You're going to download it on your phone. You can go to your app store. It should be able to download on your iPhone and your Android phone. So this app, just go download it. So once you're done, let's switch our view to our bench. That's when we're going to plug in our quad so we can see what's the name of the receiver. Okay, so we're just going to bring our quad to the bench. And basically, you're just going to plug it in with a light bulb. And then you're basically you wait about 30 seconds for the thing to enter, for the receiver to enter binding mode because like that's how ExpressLS RX are like. So we're just going to blow it with a little fan so the quad doesn't overheat. So if you wanted to take a look, you can see that the receiver is actually right here. So we're just going to wait until the, the flashes go like a rapid speed. Right now it's like a steady slow speed. It takes about 30 seconds for it to enter Wi-Fi mode. Okay, so when the receiver start entering like this kind of rapid flashing, it means that it's in Wi-Fi mode and we can just go connect to our phone. So you're basically you're gonna open your setting on your phone and then basically you're gonna click the ExpressLS RX that is popping out. If this is the first time you're logging in, it's gonna ask for a password. The password is going to be ExpressLS all lowercase. And once you have successfully connected, a separate web page is gonna pop out like this. So sometimes it does jump out for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, auto join. Do it again. Okay. Right now we're in. So at this step, what I want you to remember is I want you to remember this. Basically, it says the target name is going to be Happy Model EP1, EP2, 2.4 gigahertz RX. Just remember this one because this is the target you are going to be using. All right. So once we're done, you can basically exit this page and we're going to go to the SpeedyB app. So at the SpeedyB app, you're basically going to go to the toolbox section right here and you're going to go to the ExpressLRS configurator. And at the ExpressLRS configurator, basically what you are going to do is you are going to go to, because this one is a happy model receiver, right? So you're going to go to happy model 2.4 gigahertz and you're going to select the correct target. Basically, this one is the EP1, EP2 and then release. You can just put it on the latest one or whatever you like and regular domain basically if you're not in the EU this is the one you wanted to select and you're just going to hit build in flash so it's going to download it like that for me the easiest way is actually just download the firmware download link just copy it and go to your browser and put it in paste and then go it's going to ask you to see if you wanted to download and basically you're just going to hit download and once it has been downloaded this is when we are going to go back to our setting and you're going to go to reconnect for express LRS rx we're just going to, to come here and we're just going to hit the update button we're just going to select the firmware and then and basically after you select it the process should automatically initiate it and then we can begin to flash our firmware Okay, so when you see update success, basically that's uh, update success and you can just basically log back in to check if, you, if the firmware has been successfully flashed. Okay, so once we're back, basically you can see that the ExpressLS firmware has been flashed to 3.4.2 and if you want to set up your binding phrase, this is where you can type it in. For me, it's going to be 654321 and basically you're done. After you're done, you can just hit save and this should reboot the thing. All right, so this is how you should be doing it. Okay, so once we're done with the quad, basically if you are interested to know how to do it on your radio, it's very simple. If you have a HTX radio, I'm not gonna walk through the entire process, but I'm also gonna just gonna give you a hint of how to do it. So it's also simple. If you have a HTX radio, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna enter your setting. So if you have the jumper T20, what you have to do is long press this button so it's going to prompt you into the setting page and you're going to have express solar s option and you're going to select it and you're basically going to scroll down to wi-fi connectivity and you're going to enable the wi-fi right here and once you have enabled the wi-fi 
on your jumper or on your radio. Basically, this is when you go to repeat the same step, go online to check which firmware that which firmware target your radio has, and then go to the SpeedyB app to build it, and then you flash it onto your radio. All right, so this is very simple. All right, so basically that's about it for this short tutorial. I hope it is very helpful. If you like what I'm doing and wanted to support me a little bit, I would greatly appreciate if you can help me hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel so I can keep on doing what I'm doing. All right, any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.